Homeward Bound Daily Devotional by Anna G. White Satan fell like lightning October 25th I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven Luke chapter 10 verse 18 With their great show of prudence the rabbis had warned the people against receiving the new doctrines taught by this new teacher, Jesus for his theories and practices were contrary to the teachings of the fathers the people gave credence to what the priests and Pharisees taught in place of seeking to understand the word of God for themselves. They honoured the priests and rulers instead of honouring God and rejected the truth that they might keep their own traditions. Many had been impressed and almost persuaded but they did not act upon their convictions and were not reckoned upon the side of Christ. Satan presented his temptations until the light appeared as darkness. Thus many rejected the truth that would have proved the saving of the soul. The true witness says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Revelation chapter 3 verse 20. Every warning, reproof and entreaty in the word of God or through his messengers is a knock at the, at the door of the heart. It is the voice of Jesus asking for entrance. With every knock unheeded, the disposition to open becomes weaker. The impressions of the Holy Spirit, if disregarded today, will not be as strong tomorrow. The heart becomes less impressible and lapses into a perilous unconsciousness of the shortness of time and of the great eternity beyond. Our condemnation in the judgment will not result from the fact that we have been in error, but from the fact that we have neglected heaven-sent opportunities for learning what is truth. Like the apostles, the 70, see Luke chapter 10 verse 1, have received supernatural endowment as a seal of their mission. When their work was completed, they returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto, unto us through thy name. Jesus answered, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. The scene of the past and the future were presented to his mind. He beheld Lucifer as he was first cast out from the heavenly places. He looked forward to the scenes of his own agony when before all the world the character of the deceiver would be unveiled. Beyond the cross of Calvary, with its agony and shame, Jesus looked forward to the great and final day, when the Prince of Power of the Air will meet his destruction in the earth so long marred by his rebellion. Jesus beheld the work of evil forever ended, and the peace of God filling the heaven and the earth. Thank you for listening. This is your daily devotional. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Homeward Bound